Hello folks, welcome back to the channel, Farm Rainbow Extreme here. Here we are on the 3rd of April 24, and we are looking at all the new mods today, and including one significant update to a map by Spring. So yeah, let's quickly go over the change log for by Spring, and then we'll get on with our new mods for today. Starting off with one update to a map, it is by Spring by Ice Corner. Change Dog 2.0.0.2 It is a massive update, but a new game save is not required. And the update is as following. Remove custom wildlife spawn XML, suspected to be causing random crashes on console and performance issues on PC. Added collisions to the feed troughs in open pasture to allow pastures to be sold in construction menu. Increasing the feed capacity of all husband trees to last at least 36 hours at max animal capacity, fixed pricing of bollocks and urines value shooting up every month, remove collisions from self-made cow shed and self-made pig slide gates when opened, increase the distance objects go underground were hidden, tweak the look of cut grass double as some variants of width and height, made the MD icon disappear when interactive zone markers are turned off, update NPC 30, Added revisions, number to those three, map name and ease of troubleshooting, multi-fruit relight description now only available appears when creating your new game safe. Added JMZ's custom manure ground textures, regenerating the navigation mesh for cows and sheep pastures at the yellow farm and dark blue farm respectively. The cows now roam at the old pastures and sheep now roam all of the pasture. May wool pallet area for sheep pastures at the other farm disappear when interactive markers were turned off. Fix the tip collisions at the U-shaped side pitch that comes with the map. Reducing the wind speeds of each month. Implement farm bug warnings. Reduce straw and grass swath output slightly. And finally, beets, roots, carrots and parsnips add to the planters fruit filter category to the crops to be sown with any planter. So yeah, a massive update, so lots of little changes, but again, no new game save is required. So, to start off with, we're looking at the shed with workshop and office. This is by JD Martin Arc, 14.41 megabytes to download. Slot count is 45 slots, goes down to two, I think it is. So yeah, we'll look at, find it under sheds. Ah yeah, Shed with Office goes down to two. You do have a huge variety of colour options, the usual 20 or 21 colour palettes. Being like, ooh, that is a nice green that is. So yeah, it's not your basic colour palette, it's a very unique colour palette listing. So yeah, it's a workshop and office, but really just primarily works as a workshop. So, workshop triggers here. Got a little office space up here, and you can open this, and this will be your seat trigger and your changes your clothes. Get the trigger now, it's a bit, yeah, it's a bit of an iffy trigger, but yeah, everything is just so close together, so triggers, yeah, maybe a bit of an issue, but really, long as you access the seat trigger, that's what we really need, but yeah, out of here. And down, your light switch is just over here. Turn lights off and on. So yeah, it is a dry through ball. You can open this gate. Do so yeah, it opens one at a time. But yeah, one thing I've noticed, I'm not sure if it works on this end, but when you close this, you can phase through the wall a bit, so... Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on there with collisions, but maybe it needs a minor update to fix that. But apart from that, not too bad. 120 grand to place. I don't know why that is popping up there because I've got no trees here, so. Yeah, I'm not sure. But you also have a little door on the side here. But, anyways, that is the Shed with Workshop and Office by JD Morden Arc. Next. We've got the Shed by MA7 Studio, 16.04 megabytes to download, and it's a metal shop for your agricultural equipment. 
Reduces electricity and you can get 240 per month for it. Three grand cost. We also got an option to move walls or show the wall. So yeah, it's just like open up a little bit. No collisions there, so once again you find it under buildings, under sheds. And yeah, three grand to place. Do have some colour options. I like sort of like the wear and effect as well on the building, even when you change the colours and that. So yeah, lights on and off. But yeah, not too bad bit of kit, especially by MA7 Studio, who is the creator of Pelegni and other mods, so awesome detailing as always. So yeah, that is the shed by MA7 Studio. Next, we've got the Swiss Farm Pack or Schrobenhof Pack by Bernisk. 50.94 megabytes of download. And this is a pack includes a farmhouse, two cow barns, a machine hall, small garage, a multi-fruit silo, and a shed. So you got your farmhouse over here. So you got your close trigger here, seat trigger here, can't enter. Got your silo, which is a multi-fruit, and I think holds two million. We'll look at that in a sec. Yeah, it's gonna be one of your big. Sh no, sorry, this is your machine hall. So yeah, last year's go with slot count, so 9 slots for the farmhouse, 8 slots for the silo, 7 slots for the machine hall. There's a small shed here, that is, or small garage, is 5 slots. No, no last year there is a light trigger, my bad, didn't see that, first of all. And then you got your last shed here, which is more of a old style rustic dry through wall shed. So yeah, close the gates or close the door. But yeah. Yeah, overall not too bad. Actually I do like this quite a bit, so I'm gonna try to see if there's any lights. Uh, I don't think so there's any lights, unless I'm missing it. But anyways, that's that. And next we've got your cow barn with a silo. So this is 12 slots on console. Holes 80 cows. And yeah, so your feed trigger is just over here. This would be your food and your straw. And yeah, got another little outlet here. Outlet for your Surrey and that. Dialogue box is just over here. But yeah, the absolute cracking of the details milk comes out of here actually sorry this is your cow yeah farmhouse and cow barn that is your farm your cow barn with silo but yeah so your seat trigger and all that i think that is up here so i think you'll find so just here where your feed trigger is got some stairs here so you'll need to shut the gates yeah, you can go up, access these viewing platforms. Got a little hay loft area up here. Got a little gate up here so you can store like your bells and that if you want and just dump your bells down. But yeah, moving back up so <laughs> over here again. Oh, the cow barn was silo. I thought this was the... Uh, I thought this was the... Farmhouse with a cow barn because... The other cow farm... Has got a silo so... Actually let me have a little look here a sec. Now we're going to see it now so... You've got your... F box here so... Say tip side to the left. So right, with this cow barn with a silo, yeah, it's like, look at my notes, did, again, I tested this before I started recording, I can see here, see this trigger here, that is a dumping trigger, so, I've tried many traders, base game add modded traders, 
got big bags and that, and absolute nothing. There's even something like bells and that. It's a silo, but it's like a bell silo, which if it is, it'd be absolutely weird, but okay, so. Just chuck some of these bells down and. Yeah, I'm literally over the trigger net. Nothing. Take straw here. No. Because, yeah, what I'm thinking is that is the input. Goes up there, gets some restores, and then the output is here. But. Yeah, nothing's really popping up for me. Oh, this is your feed trigger net. So, yeah, set to the bell straight away. So. I'm not sure if that's bro this bit here is broken, the cow barn with Sido, 12 slots on console, but yeah, it is very amusing it is, but yeah, if someone gets that to work, let me know, I spent the last 15 minutes sort of trying to sort this out, but yeah, absolute no idea. But anyways, on to the last part of the Shrubbin Hoff Pack, or Swiss Farm Pack. It's the farmhouse with cow barn, so we got a silo here, and yeah, it works perfectly fine. And it is a multi fruit. So you got TMR stored and straw stored. Your milk output is just over here. Your feeding and straw input is just over here. And you got some doors here, do they work? Nope. Fake doors. Your story output is just over here. Dollar box is just over here. And yeah, also you got your light switches as well. Something a little bit different. And then the little neat thing is, you got a little ramp up here in that. Again, another little heat off in that area. Oops. Went straight through the floor. But yeah, it says farmhouse with cow barn. Well, once again, like going around this, I can't find the farmhouse. Like, yeah, got a farmhouse bit here, but this is not a seat trigger. So, is that a fake farmhouse? Because, yeah, got no ways of accessing the farmhouse. This bit here, yeah, this pack does come with a farmhouse already. And if you do want to use this as a farmhouse, there's plenty of super portable soup trigger, sleeping bag mods and that, so overall not too worried, but anyways. So for a farmhouse, that is on a farmhouse. And yeah, nine slots goes down to one. No colour options. The farm silo is under silos. Like so, two million in the capacity. Eight slots goes down to one. Then goes your sheds. So you've got your machine hole. Again, no colour options. Seven slots goes down to one. Shed, five slots goes down to one, ten grand. And then your old wooden shed. So six slots goes down to one. Now for your cow barns and cow farms and that. So the cow barn with silo holds eight cows. 8 grand to place, goes down to 1, and yeah, the farmhouse with cow barn, 8 cows as well, goes down to 1. So yeah, it says it holds half a million their capacity, both of these. But yeah, so I've got, yeah, I ordered some milk and that produced, so I skipped ahead time a little bit, but yeah, I am confused. <laughs> but yeah, the half a million there's capacity with this one here, the farmhouse with cow barn. That's all an issue with. I've got no issues with this whatsoever. It's just this cow barn with silo. This one over here where I'm happy with so. Because yeah again. I'll try again one more time but yeah absolute nothing. And yeah even with the smallest trailer I can find absolute nothing, it's not working, so this also needs an update for this part here, so yeah, apart from that, it's a nice pack overall, apart from this little bit 
of an issue here. So yeah, that is the Schwaben Hoch Pack by Bernisk. Next, we've got the Brazilian Greenhouse Pack, or P-A-K-C as it's spelt on Mod Hub. Again, how things like that gets past testing, I don't know, but... Anyways, this is by Noimog Mod. 7.44 megabytes to download. This is a Brazilian style greenhouse, free. So you've got your small, medium and large. Slot camps are for the large and medium. Four slots for console. And small one is three slots. Terms with capacity, so... It goes 20, 30 and 100,000 litres, so... 20, 30 and 100,000 litres. However... While setting this up, again, I've noticed some um, bit of a mistype because so if you go to your greenhouses, productions, greenhouses. So you got your small greenhouse there, not too bad, nine grand, three grand for the large, medium greenhouse that is fourteen to place. Yep, a bit of money for landscaping, that's more for the dirt, but just place it down in free mode. Bob's a good one. So yeah, I think that's meant to be 14,000, not 14. Oh, God. But, hey, make the most of it before this gets updated. So yeah, it was a greenhouse with a Brazilian soil. So yeah, open up. So yeah, produce it. So yeah, if you're on a South American map, these are actually some good greenhouses. And I don't think we've got many, like... With all the Brazilian mods we've got as of late, there's no, like, Brazilian greenhouses I've noticed until now. Again, I could be proven wrong, but they not too bad, so triggers just over here. Decent amount of capacity. I think that's pretty much a normal production rate, base game-wise. Pallets spawn out here, so we've got two pallets with a small greenhouse, four with the medium. And two with the large. I'm not sure why. Is it just because of how it's all placed? Yeah, I'm not at the power limit, so yeah, I'm not sure why we're getting more not not getting more power spawned up, but anywho. So yeah, wall triggers are just over here. So yeah, if you want a cheap greenhouse. Yeah, buy the medium greenhouse for... Nope, sorry. Medium greenhouse for 14 bucks. But yeah, anyway, that is the Brazilian greenhouse pack by Noimog Mod. Next. On to our final production and placeable for today. We've got the medium BGA plant package by RLSF Blitzy. 30.64 megabytes to download, and this is basically a pack of two... So that's medium sized BGA, so you've got your sm small one of the two, 400 kilowatt hours, 400 kilowatts, whatever. And then you've got your 750 kilowatts. And the difference is almost a double in terms of output in that. Also, this produces methane, I think. So, yep, the. The large one produces more quantities of methane and a tiny bit of electricity. Whilst the small one produces electricity and little bits of methane, so hmm. Not sure on that. But yeah, it's almost a two times difference. So yeah, you've got your silage, surrey, manure, sugar beet, cut, and potatoes. So capacities are things like 225,000 years of silage, or 230 or whatever it was, 225, 234 Surrey, manure was like 52, 55,000, sugar beet cut was 25,000, and potatoes were around 25,000. Obviously it's not bad on the exact, it's quite a bit of a random terms with numberage. But yeah, I've skipped ahead two and a half months, and we've barely made a dent in terms of the capacity for digestate, so... I'm going to say that is, what, like a 2 million litre capacity? 
something on those lines, but anywho. So you find these under productions and factories. They're down here, so just order 400 kilowatts. That is 900 grand to purchase. And the large one of the two is 1.25 mil. Did I say the slot camps? So yeah, slot camps are 13 slots for the 750 kilowatts. And them slots for the 400 kilowatts. So overall, not too bad. They pretty much are the same in terms of the ducking. Just the got an extra fermenter silo bit here at the back. Things also slightly larger transformer, I think that is, whatever it is called. But yeah, despite the cost in that, also if you're on PC, this does support the manure system mods. But yeah, so, bit of a unique. Let's use potatoes as well, so you wouldn't produce a bunch of potatoes. But yeah, actually not too bad, like, looking at the ratios in that. Not too shabby, decent cycles per month in that. Like, slightly so with the large one alone, that is 6,000 with 24 cycles a month. So yeah, 60, 120, about 145,000 years a month, so overall, not too bad. So yeah, this is the medium biogas plant packaged by RLSF Blitzy. Next, on to our vehicles and equipment, we've got the Gooseneck Dolly, this is by Darkside Modding. 30.28 megabytes of download. Both of these are 6 slots for console. And yeah, basically this is designed as a special made dolly to link up a pickup truck with a semi-trader. It's got adjustable fifth wheel, a different attacher type so you can use this to attach with like the cloth areas and that. But anyway, so, so yeah, it does say recommend mod, so the cloth area style track package as contributions by Sergoi Modding and A2 Studio. But anyway, so you'll find this under tools and dollies. So you got a wheeled version and a tracked version. So yeah, first of all, mud guards got core fenders, half fenders. And then you got your full fenders, and that is a lot of fenderage, different fender options. Beacon, yes or no, got amber right, amber left, both amber, clear right, clear left, both clear, and yes. See so that is on just on top of here, so there we go, let's get a camera angle there. Working lights, no or yes, back here. Oh no, it was on the top, sorry. So, got both working lights. So you can have beacons and the clear lights. There, right, and all that. Now, attacher type. So, got your standard version. Got your class serving once. And got your class saddle track attacher. Any difference is just the height. So, you can use this with other options if you wish. Main colour, so it's got a lot of A2 Studios colour palettes, as you can see, so let's go with a class green. So that's going to change your main body. Mudguard, let's go with a communal orange. Rims, let's go with a yellow. So your two big rims on the tracks. And how this looks for the dolly, so same configurations and all that, so golden rims and that. There you go. But yeah, so enough grand. Only six slots, so... And where is he? The wheeled version weighs a lot more. It does 4.6 versus 6.3 tons. A lot cheaper than the base game version, and even with mod stuff. I think there's only like one mod that is slightly cheaper than this, but... This has got a lot of detail, and of course if you want to, you can use this with a lorry, but 
Hazel defeats the purpose, so hook up in that. And then, yeah, just for hoyage. Well, yeah, so this be more of a realistic scenario, so all you got your class areas you can use, or like your other normal pickups that has a actual bed with a fifth wheel, so. If I go to our trucks and that, don't think I've got nothing enabled at the moment. But yeah, just with the 980 version, it'll be something like this with your different bed options. With that, I think that's a fifth wheel hitch there. I think this also got a fifth wheel attacher in that, does it? I don't know, it's hard to see. Yeah, it's been a while since I've used these properly. But yeah, so, a normal pick up now, this is just what I've got enabled, so. Overall, it's actually not too bad, just with usability in that. Yeah, it's not really too bad. And also, if I just detach that a sec. So, yeah, have a look at the back. You also got a version of four hitches, so you can attach other train types if you said wish. with, oh yeah, just as the position of that, so L1 right stick left to right, brings that forward and back, and L1 R1, what's that do, can, so yeah, can't find what L1 R1 right stick left to right does, so like, looking on the mod hub in that, yeah, something really saying this is something to do with the hitch in that. Oh yeah, so hooks up. There we go, like so. So yeah, got a little bit of surrey here. And overall, like the pawn capacity of it, it's not too bad. Like, haven't got the unreasonable engine option. And even when you unload it, it too bad in terms with the pawn capacity and that. Yep, decent that. It's not chucking to pick up anywhere, left to right. Okay, yeah, you get slightly bogged down in that, but that's when you're acting like a complete asshole with it. But overall, it ain't too bad actually, like, this is a handy bit of kit and definitely something I'm going to be using on one minute's this place. But regardless, that is the Usek Dolly by Dark Sight modding. Next. We've got the Lizard Bolt 4M, this is by Nicolas757 and Vulex. 6.61 megabytes to download, and this is a 4 meter cultivator, 4 slots for console. And yeah, you find this under Tools and Cultivators. Go to the end, 4 meters, 700 to buy. Requires 50 Norse power, works at 9 miles an hour or 15 kilometers per hour. Goes down to one, no configuration options whatsoever, no color adjustments or anything like that. So get sucked up, folds like so. Lower, and you can also do that. And there we go. See, so yeah, overall, not too bad. Pretty much simple as it gets. A hey, hey, at least it's not a, another three meter cultivator. We're going up in the road now. We're up to four meters now. Yeah, lift that up. Do a little melt bits now. So they don't really move as much as our mods we've seen. But yeah, regardless, not too bad. Handy little bit of kit. So yeah. This is the Lizard Bolt 4M by Nicola757 and VULX. Next, we've got the RTO 1274 Flatbed Trader. This is by IBM Modding Team, 5.63 MB download. Slot count is 3 slots, goes down to 1. It's a low loader. You'll find this under Tools, Add Low Loaders. 20 grand to place, or 
cost swap weighs 1.7 tons. Yeah, three slots goes down to one. So yeah, we've got some options. Wood floor, wood floor with black metal floor, wood with metal floor, and then back to wood floor. Attachers, one or two. So you've got a ball hitch or a pin hitch. Chassis color, so you've got a custom black and then got your base game color palette so nice hot paint that changes all the metal frame like so so yeah overall actually not too bad like good little bit of detail sports tension belts and that got a foldable ramp so yeah let's hop into our case here Okay, it's hooked up, like so. And overall, it's not too bad, it doesn't take forever to attach and detach. There's a slight delay when detaching, but overall, not too bad. See so yeah, it, unfold trader. See so it winds down. Tension straps, like so. But yeah, it's not the biggest train in the world, but hey, even with this, I've got like two IBC tanks. Two pallets of seed, two pallets of clothes, and two two twenty seven year size belts. So overall, not too bad. Very simple as it goes, but hey, sometimes it just needs something simple now, like more than that. That says Aussie to attach the vehicles, you need to set the tension belts, which Aussie, of course, we all know that, or most of us know that. Anyway, so that is the RTO 1274 Flat Deck Trader by IBM Modern Team. Next, we've got the Coon 1200 Extra. This is a planter. It's by Hemson Dentino, Orton Modding, and ML Modding. 4.57 megabytes to download. And it's a 5.5 meter width planter, 1200 in capacity of seed and fertilizer, respectively. And that is only solid fertilizer. 120 horsepower requirement costs 110 grand. So yeah, you find this under planters. And yeah, even when you pay compared to base game, this is really expensive, but a bit more of a real life base. So you've got your custom coon red and your no, that's a base game white. But yeah, apart from that, you got your basic colours, but at least, if you want, you can change your colour option. So, let's change that back to a yellow. Rims will go with a hot pink. So yeah, that is your main rims there. You can barely see it in store, your four main rims there. So yeah, let's get our John Deere. Back you up, hook you up. So yeah, just make sure everything's right. The receiver and that. Turn on. And also, I forgot to check. But yeah, this is a direct planter, so you can direct drill on the ground. Without needing to plow or cultivate the field previously. So yeah, 1200 the capacity for sulfurs and seeds. And 120 horsepower requirements. Funny how that works out together in that. But yeah, obviously we're having pulling issues and that's because I'm over pulling it with the John Deere here. But yeah, again, so let's go to this field over here and show it off. So yep, yeah, we are direct drilling. But yeah, overall, not too bad. Nice little bit of kit. It is quite expensive, but I think that's more based on realistic price in the far as I'm aware. So turning you off. So yeah, that is a Coon 1200 Extra by Hemsden Dentine Hole, Orton Modin and ML Modin. Next, we've got the Rudolf Welger DK280RL. This is by Nikki Agra and Agrero. Turns with slot, slot counts, it's 9, goes down to 1. 
And yeah, we got a similar basing version of this, but you got adjustable belt brand selection, not belt selection. Add the reflector configurations, interactive controls, color configurations, several color options, change color to better ones, and change the tip animation. So yeah, you'll find this under tools and traders. And yeah, I do apologize if I, I'm not sure if I said that at the start, I do feel a bit crappy today, got a bit of a sore throat now, a little bit covered from a bit of a cold. But anyway, so the Rudolph DK280RL, and we compare that to the base game version. 23 grand, 18.5 thousand liters. And this one here, it's pretty much exactly the same, just again, slightly different options. So you've got your different brand ins and out, Rudolph and Welgers. Reflectors got all of them. None left and right on sides or without. Side walls you got green or brown. Cover you got light blue, blue, red, dark green, yellow, and grey. And it says, yeah, changing in tip animation, so tip side back, opens the cover. Oh yeah, I should notice that with the little flap nads. Not too bad. Then you've got your green doors, tip side left and right, so tip side right. Again, so you have similar flap head animation. And now see we'll look at the green door, so uh, I think that's pretty much the same, I think. Yeah, I think that's the same as base game that is, but if we're not bad, something different and something Yep, yeah, it's adapted a base game equipment, but with some added options, so if we're not too bad and I respect that, so that is the Rudolph and Welger DK280 RL by Niki Agro and Agrero. Next, we've got the Bailey TB16. This is by Ross N Mods. Slot camp is 7 goes down to 1, and yep, yeah, if you're not sure a bit of the Bay brand, they are popular in the UK, especially in Ireland, I think, if I'm not mistaken. So, yeah, this can be used for arable, vegetable, silage work whatsoever. 32 grand, capacity between 16,000 and 26,600 litres. So, once again, this fine is under traders. Go to the end. So you got your standard, default with cover, default with green door, so without or with green door. Got your cover and green door. Got extension, extension of the green door and back to standards. So wheel brands, pretty much all just the same in that, pretty much. Decals, yes or no. So it just adds the reflective stickers pretty much. The attacher type, you got a UK attacher, or you got your Schwarmer cup ball, and back to UK attacher. Got two different Bailey greens, and blink it and you'll miss it. Actually, I'll go with white. Actually, I'm not sure there's a difference, so I'll go with yellow. Go with the second green, it goes back to the first green. Go with white. Actually, even there is a difference. I cannot notice a difference, to be honest. But yeah, anyways, cover options, got your baby grey, white, and then all your other basic kind of palettes. But yeah, fruit to grand. And with the extensions in that, we're looking at an extra four and a half grand. So overall, for three six and a half grand, not too shabby. See, so yeah, I got some soybeans here. So, got green door tip side back in that. Obviously, if you don't have the green door as an option, you've only got your tip side back. But yeah, overall, love the hydraulic animation. So yeah, I'm just going to let that 
progress and unfold so see this bit at the back uh, so a hitch here so if you unfold it yeah if you fold it the rear hitch comes out and unfold it brings it back in so usually that'd be the opposite but yeah but yeah also with the extension as you can see you don't have the cover option so just a little note there depending on what your setup is but overall not too bad not like to see the Bailey brand in FS22 but yeah so that is the Bailey TB60 by Ross N Mods next we'll head on to our two tractors for the day so yeah to start off with we've got the new Holland T5 AC and DC and no it's not the alternate current and direct current this means also commands and dynamic commands so that is just basically the transmission this is by Farmy. 42.68 megabytes to download and slot count is an astounding 43 slots but trust me that is worth it so AC is the basically the CVT the continuous variable transmission and the dyna dynamic control or sorry dynamic command transmission is a 24 by 24 dual clutch transmission so that's all it is I have pretty much got the same options. They vary from 100, 110 to 155 horsepower. Top speed varies from 40 all the way throughout, and only the 155 horsepower has the 50 km per hour engine of top speed. So, without any further ado, you'll find this under small tractors. Yep, yeah, all this for a small tractor costs 89 grand base price. So 24 miles an hour standard or it says 40 kilometers an hour or so yeah, no speed difference despite what it says on the mod hub page so uh, that's a little note there to note but anyway so let's go with the donut command configuration is just the same so yeah got your very low horsepower, horsepower, so got your 110, 120, 130, 140, 140 tuning, 140 tuning 50. And yeah, oh. T5 140 tune 150. What is that? Because it says 140, that, that's confusing, that is. Unless that's the 50 kilometers per hour, but it doesn't say, to be honest. I don't know, to be honest, but anyway, so, well, Brand, so we do have some variation. So, with Trailer Boy, you've got your standard smalls, wheel weight smalls, and then you've got your standard bigger tires, wheel weights, and all that. Do need to look at those. But yeah, you've got, yeah, white walls, that. I just find that quite interesting. And again, you've got your twin smalls in that. And this is why the slot count is quite high, because, yeah, you've got your standard tyres, but also you got your small tyres. And again, it's little things like that I do appreciate. Something different, especially tyres in that. Apart from, like, with H Studio with the TLX stuff, with tractors in that. Apart from spiked wheels and tracks and that, rarely we do see like, different natural rim sizes. Anyways, fenders got fenders yes and no. Got various editions, so you got your standard 2022 version or your blue power power back to standard. The isobus terminal, so that basically that's your little computer, so uh, I'll try to find a freaking good option for this as a small tractor. So, uh, there we go. I'll try to pan zoom in editing. But yes, yeah, so you've got your Lemkin, Zunhammer, Kuhn, Crone, Amazon, and none. Beacon lights and front flashers. you got front flasher, so none or yes. I think that's in the group. 
yeah, on the hood. So you can see the hood there. No, you can't. Got your beacon lights, so you've got beacon ones. Front ones with flashers, beacon two with flashers, three or with flashers, four or with the flashers, or without beacon lights. Hydraulic control, you got your hydraulic control, electrical control, and really, I think that's just in the cab, I think that is, so, yeah, there you go, so you got your different controls in cabinets. So chains, and now, this is something different. So you got no snow chains, snow chains always at the front. Snow chains only in the winter at front. Same with the back, only in winter. Snow chains all, 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 also chains all year round. Or also chains only in winter. So when you're hitting winter. And I should want to test that bit here a sec. Front hydraulics, you got your weight carrier. Got your hitch. Hitch and the PTO shaft. Front hydraulics, front hydraulics of the PTO. Back to weight carrier. Front loader, so you got your quickies, hoyers, top block system, your stall, MP lift, and your MX package one. So different front loaders. Uh, with precision farming, it does have the Asire Pro Compact. Main cutter, so got all your new Holland colours, so you got your blue, got your chrome, matte, blue power. Blue Power Chrome, Blue Power Matte, Black, Black Chrome, Black Matte, your new Holland Pink, that's why I got the pink version there, and then yeah, you got your new Holland Fiat's, got a fire department colour, got a dark red, got your communal construction kind of colours, and then your basic colour palette, so... Alright, so I've got this, and I'm going to change the season, so I set it to December, that means we'll be in winter, and it takes a bit for the game to adjust. So, alright, so we're not getting snow chains popping up all suddenly. Again. So chains? No, so unless it's actually Ah, wait a minute. That's because we've got Let's try that, so bear with me a second. Ah, so right now we have changed it, so yep. Yeah, it's yeah, I think you need to rest in that, but yeah, I like the idea of come winter and that. It all just automatically comes on. But yeah, I don't think it happens automatically, so... Also that engine option, like, that engine sound there, and... Yeah, I think we need to rest in that for the changes to happen. But yeah, overall, a nice bit of kit. I do like that, so... Go back to the pink version, what's in that? So yeah, now you see it coming into effect and Ooh, how should I think can't remember what option I swear I put no snow tires on this, but I guess I may be mistaken because we've got snow chains and no snow chains. That is something definitely different. And actually something I could do with on Raven pouring out with the deep snow gnat. But anyway, so that is the New Holland T5 ACDC by Farmy. Next we head to our final model of the day. And that is the John Deere 8030T and Demco Side Quest 1000 and 1200. This is by Agritono. 25.77 megabits download. Slot count is 15 slots for the John Deere. And 2 slots for the Side Quest. So I've got both the 1000 and 1200 options. Oh uh, yeah, again, I know there's another John Deere 8 series in that, but 
this is a bit more detailed. This is a lot more detailed. Plus, with the straightaway support of the side quest with the additions of it, about how to use a another mod. So yeah, you find this under large tractors first. First of all, and then you press R three for the combinations, or under sprayers, tools and sprayers. You got your side quest here. Seven and a half grand and nine grand, respectively. In terms of the configuration, so for both of these, these are exactly the same. So you got your right side attacher, left side attacher, and that is it. So all you need to purchase two. So yeah, right side and left side. So overall, not too bad. But back on to the John Deere itself. So base game pro or base price is two hundred and forty-three grand. So yeah, you start off with the AT30T, got a chip tune, chip tune version, that's an extra 70 horsepower, 8330T, and then a chip tuned version, 8430T, and the chip tuned version, and back to an 8230. So you should go from 265 to 445 horsepower for an additional 112 grand. Track setup, so you got your wide mats, wide mats with weights, wide mat and free mirror gauge, wide mat, free mirror gauge and a weight, and that additional weight, apparently it's there, but it's not registering on that left corner of the screen. There you got your narrow tracks and that. But yeah, none of these are affecting the weight so it's a preference thing when the film got standard smoke one smoke two smoke three and back to standard headlights you go from four to seven so four five six and seven unless you're quite like that that's something different so internal trims got no got a seat so just a bit of trimming on seat so yeah, that does require the Kubota DLC to use. Got your radios, got your thermals, seat and radio, seat and thermal, radio and thermal, seat, radio and thermal, or none. Antennas, you got a left, right, both antennas, or none. It's also you got your standards, so go over here, got your chrome tip, or back to standard, so numbers goes from one to nine. Toolbox and chain. So you got your toolbox. That's gonna be on side there. Chain at the front. Both or none. Cabin lights, so you got your standard. Without cabin lights, so it takes away the cabin lights at the front. Got you with turn signals, double headlights, so there we go, and then back to standards. But yeah, overall, actually, I like that with the double headlights, with seven headlights as well. You can actually see anything. So yeah, signaling, got your standard, left beacon, right beacon, left and right beacon, or standard. Attacher, so this is going to be at the front, so. 300 kilogram weight, 500, 709, 1100, 1300, 1500, and front hydraulics. With an additional of 200, 400 kilogram weights, or back to standard. GPS, no or yes, pretty much. And yeah, got different models of the Star of Fires, or none. And yeah, really, that's just a cosmetic thing. Unless you're using think of GPS on PC, but on consoles, it's just a cosmetic thing. Signal lights, no or yes. So that is at the back here. So it's got those with worn triangles, reflectors, with triangle or none. And with precision farming, you do have the Acer Pro Compact or none. And then got your license plate. So. Overall, not too bad, so. Ooh, what do you like that sound? Horn, standard. 
So yeah, I think I've got everything, so see all the lights. So yeah, at night, you're not going to be missed at all. So yeah, I'm just going to detach both of these a sec, so... There we go. Just sort of show us off a little bit. So yeah, there's nothing really interesting about the Demcos, they're just additional tanks, so... In cab, so we are in control group 1. So this is for seat, cutter, windows and steering wheel, so... L1, got full tractor or unfull tractor. Now, it basically just adjusts the steering column, as so. Then L1, R1, turn off prop sensor, left stick, left to right, manually adjusts and fine tunes the steering column. L1, R1, left stick, right, left to right. So, right stick brings the seat forward, left stick brings the seat back. And then R1, right stick, left to right, opens and closes the door. And then, yeah, we can R1, right stick up and down. Oh yeah, that does that. At the back, fair enough. So on to control group 2, so that is our signal lights, mirrors and sight visor. So, L1, nothing. L1, R1, right stick, left to right, just a seat. And then up and down, raises and lowers the seat respectively, so... Like, literally, fine tune this as much as you want. Then, so yeah, that opens, closes the door. Yeah, we're, we're already at this, so... Let's go back to that, so yeah. R1, so we have control group 2. R1, right stick left to right. I don't know what that was just, I think that's more for the signal lights, the sort of white bits we looked at earlier. Oh, so yeah, now we're back in control group 2 now, so let's look at the front again, so we'll get a bit sidetracked, so yeah. L1, R1, left stick, left to right, raises and there's the sun visor, and also you can adjust your mirrors like so. So yeah, right stick left to right just the left mirror and L1 R1 does the right mirror so and actually that's got real reflection so yeah go back to control group one like that you can adjust yourself so you can actually see what's in that mirror and overall that's just quite good actually Too bad. How does it go backwards? Not too bad. So yeah, this is a nice detailed bit of kit. But yeah, that is all our boss for today. This took longer to do that, not just with the issues with the cow farm side of that. But yeah, as I mentioned a little bit earlier, just not being well with sore throat. I can't just take breaks in between recording segments here and all that, so... But regardless, I hope you all appreciate this, so... If you like this, feel free to smash that button. Feel free to comment down below. If you want to share us, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please stir. But, overall... I hope you're going to stay. But for now, this is before I'm Extreme. And, I'll see you all... A very soon.